Anyway, like I said, $50, but I don't get my savings. Now, let's take a look over here at this. This is another pee bottle. I am peeing blood. That is a pee bottle that I haven't finished peeing in yet. See, it's not full. It only has a little bit in it. See, a little bit. Higher at the other side, below the lid deal here. See it that way too. See, it's tilted. Look at that pea. It's nice and golden. It's like gold piss. It's worth a lot of money. You know it. Now this one got blood in it. Well, I can pour that out on the ground and it'll salt the earth because blood has a lot of salt in it and copper and plants grow on that shit. But do you see me getting anything for pain? Hmm. I gotta spend my little old fifty bucks to help me for pain. People now don't have to pay for pain. They can collect their paycheck and sit in their house and get on welfare and get free medication and stuff for like $4. Uh. I got to spend $20 for a couple days worth of relief. For $4, they get a whole month's worth of medication. Older people... Well, they take a whole bunch more medication. So, you know, there are several, they might have eight, ten prescriptions. That's like, you know, 60 bucks. Some shit like that. You know? Why is it that I got to pay $20 for like two days and I could grow me some pot? have enough to last the whole year should be able to grow enough for a couple of years in case there's a drought or something you know but anyway why why do I gotta suffer and everybody else can have whatever they want I don't even trust medication or doctors anymore so I may as well should be able to grow it and help myself that's what I went to prison for smoking pot because I had to help myself because nobody wanted to help me not even the same doctor who found my broken back in the eighth grade would motherfucking help me whenever a <laughs> it was making me do too much at Spears Manufacturing, which, by the way, is a Californian company that wouldn't help me because they were paying the doctors off to tell you, oh, it's a sprain and go back to work. Or it's a strain, go back to work. The same other kind of places that were Christian-owned Hopkins manufacturing businesses in fucking Emporia. The same fucking thing. I got to put up with crazy psycho bitch motherfucking playing games, sitting across the street with binoculars and shit, and up the road, and all this other kind of shit around the corner, peeping through the alleyway, <laughs> watching me, making sure I don't fucking talk to anybody. And I got to put up with this dude talking about my hair. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out uh, three different ways, man, I offered I could do this, you know, so I could keep working and, and getting paid. They want to fire me. My, my fucking ex-wife can be bitching when she fucking rude to customers and shit and motherfucking uh, cry to them. And, well, they'll, they'll just let her keep her job. But not me. I got to be fired. I can't get away from the crazy bitch who's doing this shit to me because she's threatening to kill herself if I try to leave. And you're a motherfucking sending her right back home to me after she does pop a bunch of pills and try to leave. You know, I, I, I couldn't get away. You should have fucking kept her in a mental institution and motherfucking talked to me about what the fuck was going on. I would have told you. She's nuts. The only reason why I'm staying with her now is because she's suicidal and, and nobody will help. Nobody would help get me away from her. Nobody would do anything. I'm going to lose everything because of this crazy woman. And then after I go to prison and I can't see her and I can't be around her and she's trying to be nice to me, faked me right out, ended up married to the bitch. She started right back in on the same fucking shit. You know? I guess crazy people can play you. And they're good at playing games because they're insane. They believe their own delusions and shit. Here I am trying to tell people what the fuck's going on. My sister's fucking calling me fucking crazy and insane and saying that I'm lying and all this kind of bullshit. And, and she just don't want to remember. <laughs> she wants to forget about all of it and all that kind of shit. You know, that, that's them blowing it off and then they're ruining my life doing it. I got to suffer. I got to be in pain. She knows the kind of crap they was doing. And she don't even know how bad it got because 
Well, she was the one telling on me and getting me in trouble. And whenever nobody was around, that was when I was getting it even worse than what she got. Because, well, they loved her and they helped her. They took her tonsils out. They took her to the doctor when she needed it. They did this. They did that. She didn't have to hear everybody bitching about her fucking shots. But she did hear them bitching about food. She does know that I ate fucking dog food <laughs> because I gave her some. She's like, what are you doing? It's like the cheese thing. Whenever I'm in the foster home, my ears almost got ripped off my head and she she knows about that too but anyway you know what are you doing i'm eating dog food you want some so i gave her some dog food she didn't want to eat it i was running around dipping fucking salt i was eating salt i was that hungry i was dipping chewing tobacco and swallowing the spit I was that hungry. It made me not feel hungry. I didn't know why. It was a fucking goddamn shit in it. The nicotine. It's an absolute.